Hi, I'm Joe Boganek, orthotist and president of Ride Designs. Today's video is going to cover thick or tall cushions. Thick or tall cushions come from thick or tall shapes. In order to get a thin cushion, you need to have the person sitting down in the capture base. The goal is to capture the pelvis one inch off of the seating surface. That's already built into this base. You have a half, you have a half inch of your orientation baseline, and you also have a half inch of black foam that's down in the bottom of the base. We automatically have that height set up in this patented base. The next part of this is we have to get the beads out of the well. In order for the pelvis to sit all the way down into the bottom of the base, we have to get those beads from the shape capture base out of the way. In this demonstration, I'm going to place the shape capture base. And again, the goal is to get the pelvis one inch off of the sitting surface. Capture it there. That will assure you a low shape capture. Putting the base all the way back against the canes, square in the chair, To demonstrate this first, without, without the bag in place, the shape capture base in top, this is the goal. Without the base in the way, so you can see exactly what's happening, when this person transfers into this shape capture, we want to get the beads out of the way enough so that the pelvis sits and makes contact with the bottom of this base. The shape capture bag is brought in place. The first thing we do is we get the bag to the proper vacuum. When you have the valve set at the right setting, the beads should be very pliable, very pliable, but yet they stay in place when you push them or move them out of the way. This is very important for the next step, which is getting the beads out of the way. We set the bag up so it's one inch over the front of the base. Set your hand in place, use your other hand, and start shaking the beads out of the well. We're going to make this a really large transition, and we're really going to smooth this anatomical shape out. And it's only possible with that proper vacuum in the bag. So right now, I have, there's absolutely no beads down in the bottom of this bag. The next step is that I'm going to lock the bag in place. At this point, the client transfers into the chair, into the shape capture, and they're already very low in this capture. From here, I let all the air into the bag. The beads start releasing. Then we go to a hip swish, which is left and right, and then back to center again. Start pulling some of the vacuum in. And what just happened is all the beads just rushed in underneath the pelvis to fill that space in between the client and the, and the, and the capture bag. And here's where if I want to influence the lateral thigh, I always want to lift and roll the bag. Lift and roll the bag. You don't want to push that in. Lift and roll the bag. Once we have every, everything set in place, we go ahead and lock the bag down at that point. And the three things that we have to do from here is we have to measure the length of our desired, our finished cushion. We have to measure the targeted height, which is from the bottom of the base to the finished part of the cushion underneath the legs. And we also have to mark the greater trochanters. It's the apex of the greater trochanters. You want to use your marker or finger and mark that index so we can come back later in. Only with this process are you able to get low cushions. 
avoid that thick front cushion.